Hi. Finishing music we're happy with is hard for most of us. So about a month ago, I challenged anyone watching this channel to complete an original track, but the catch was they had to share their process and how they finished their song either by making a walkthrough or offering a project download. To make things interesting, I went to Superbooth and sampled unreleased synths and drum machines, and tracks could only use those instruments in order to qualify. The result was that over 590 original tracks were made, one of which you're hearing now, all with either a full walkthrough or project download, sometimes both. Before we take a listen to a few of them, I'd like to thank Ben Jordan and Jakob Hack, who helped me judge this contest. We'll hear their favorites in a bit. And also thank these companies for contributing quite a few amazing prizes for this contest. Okay, let's take a deeper look at how some of the entries to this contest were made. Quite a few of them were complex DAW-based arrangements like this one. One thing I want to urge you to do if you like a song, go ahead and download the project file if it's available. These are hosted by people personally, so links might break over time. Now, complex entries aside, we also got some pretty nice entries using something as simple as a PO33. The Digitact was behind quite a few amazing entries. The track was No Slouch, appearing in quite a few entries. The MC-707 popped up in a few entries here and there. Polyan's tracker also appeared in a surprisingly large number of entries. Some model samples mayhem. Small but mighty OPZ got a few entries. Deluge entries showed a serious mastery of this instrument. using 
using Android. We also had a few entries using iOS, including Drambo and other apps, but not all entries were complex multi-track arrangements. This ambient piece, for example, uses just one sample with four generative sequencers to make this interesting texture. Many entries combined both hardware instruments and DAWs, or DAWs and other instruments like VCV Rack here and Studio One by Personas. using Cubase. As expected, quite a few tracks were submitted using Ableton Live. Diverse list of software tools continues with Brenoise. So I think you're starting to get the idea. The tool doesn't matter as much as whether it's an environment that inspires you to create music. I 
I'm cutting these short to give each track more or less equal time, you're obviously welcome to look in the description, check out the playlist, and listen to these tracks in full. Moving on, how about no sequencer or timeline at all? inspiration, many of the track videos or video descriptions contained information about what inspired a track. goes on in the song. For the next one, I'll let the author explain. And the song is about learning about autosave the hard way. Stuck for inspiration? Try a different scale. This track is based on the Bolin Pierce microtonal scale. for inspiration, maybe try a different meter, like 7-8, or perhaps a bathtub reverb.
if you want to see the rest of that, head out to the playlist. This person changed their desktop background to a picture from Friday the 13th to get in the mood. Moving on, this track has a great tutorial. One of the things that I liked is how the creator used EQ to hunt down harmonics in a texture sample to create the melody for this track. Okay, let's talk about some people that went above and beyond the call of duty. So for example, taking multiple cameras and performing outdoors doesn't get you extra points, but it does kind of guarantee you'll get into the summary video. It's a pretty long track, I'll skip ahead a bit. You can actually download this machine file and play around with it, which I did and is quite a bit of fun. Likewise, the number of people you get to play the samples real-time together won't get you extra points, but just might get you in the video. And for something completely different, a few songs with vocals. So auto-tune was allowed, as was a vocoder. This is a true story, by the way. Definitely feeling the craftwork vibes here.
Another thing that didn't get you extra points, but was certainly fun to watch, was the time and energy people invested in visualizing their music. Many of these, by the way, either have a tutorial for how the visualization was made, or a link to where you can find more information, like this one. Stock footage libraries seem to be a great source of inspiration. Like I mentioned earlier, many of the songs come with either a tutorial, a project download, or both. And you'll want to take a look at some of these for sure.
This track is called Rule Bender, presumably because they tried to mess around with some of my rules, so I downloaded this project. I guess it's this part, but aggressive filtering was allowed. <laughs> heartwarming to see people who haven't been publishing songs for a while or at all, haven't been making tutorials, make some pretty kick-ass songs and tutorials to go with them. There's no shortage of techno tracks in this contest. Have fun. But if you want to know how to make one from scratch, check out this video. Okay, before I hand it off to Ben and Jakob for their favorites, a word about judging this contest and the way prizes are going to be raffled. First, I have to say it has been an absolute privilege listening to all the songs submitted to this contest. I think that if you've finished a track you're happy with, you've already won. It doesn't matter what I or anyone else thinks, if you had fun, if you were in the zone when you made it, and certainly if you still like listening to your track, that's quite an achievement. As of the making of this video, the playlist of all the songs has 38,000 views, so apparently people are liking these songs too. Now, if I was Oprah, I'd give you all a prize. Unfortunately, I only have 11 of them to hand out and 596 songs to choose from. So until someone comes around with a better idea, here's how we judged this contest. I listened to all the songs and gave them a score from one to 10. Personally, for me, it was how much a song made me want to listen to it more than once. The more I heard of it, the higher the score. And if I got up and danced, it wasn't a pretty picture, but you got a 9 or a 10. Now, when I originally asked Ben and Jakob to join the contest, I told them I thought we'd get about 200 songs based on the rate they were coming in at that time. But then you all surprised us in the last days of the contest and tripled that number. So I sent Ben and Jakob the songs that passed a certain threshold and they ended up listening to and grading around 400 songs each. So thanks so much for that. And if they missed a gem, it's probably my fault. Now I'm sure I wouldn't give a track the same score each time I heard it. So instead of just giving 11 prizes to the tracks with the highest average score, what I plan to do is allocate the top ranking 50 or so finalists between their choice of prizes and quite literally roll the dice for each prize. I'll do this after this video airs, so as of the making of this video I have no idea who won the prizes. Also, while many of the songs in this video are finalists, some aren't, and some finalists weren't included in this video. This is an intentional choice, because while there are around 50 finalists, the average score of the next 50 after them is very, very close. By the way, I gave each of us judges up to five songs we could give a lifeline to, regardless of the score of the other judges. This ended up being applicable to only three songs, so the vast majority of the finalists averaged pretty high across the board. And that's basically it. With that said, I'll hand it off to Ben. Hi, I'm Ben Jordan, and you are on the official Facebook page for WKAX Morning Radio, home of the Eagle. <clears throat> Oh, we're not doing that today. Hola, Maria. ¿Cómo estás? Este es Ben Jordan. ¿Qué desea una gran quinceañera? Well, which one are we doing today? Oh, it's Thursday. Okay. Hi, I'm marginally famous recording artist and pro audio YouTuber Ben Jordan, and I happen to be a judge for Loop Pop's Mega Contest. 
So Ben Lowther's 130R, this track had a lot of synthwave elements and maybe even was easy to overlook at first, but I just got hit with this wall of Xanax and water fountains outside of J.C. Penney's, if that makes any sense. I don't know if the artist is trying to invoke deeply nostalgic and emotional vaporwave vibes, but they did. And the song is also kind of aimless in structure, which sounds like criticism, but it's not, because you know what else is aimless? A wall of Xanax and a water fountain outside of J.C. Penney's. one track by Piotr Garbazanik. I'm sorry, Piotr. There's a 92% chance that I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Piotr's submission sounded busy, chaotic, well-produced, Halloween-y, I would describe it. And I was like, hmm, not bad. And then it kind of built up to this drop and then exploded into this wonderful, mysterious voyage medley ending. A great track with an even greater surprise. What's better than that? Speaking of surprises, one of the tracks that I rated highest was by Cool Doug Love. In the track video, I'm just looking at a Digitac and I'm expecting some techno, and I'm hit with this smooth West Coast style beat that gives me the chills. And then he just picks up the microphone and spits out some serious A-League flow. I have already stalked this guy's band camp and YouTube pages, and you should too, because they are filled with some incredible beats. Yo. Alive and direct in the flesh, the mortal coil, the mics and the decks Took some time just to get the shuffle right Never chance that a plot was hatched Inspired on my schemes to dance in peace My name's Doug, sometimes I rap, I make beats I do that on my dick attack I have a synthesizer singing to the tunings out of whack This here's for all y'all came to rock Whether you from Portmore to Portland to Porto to Port Harvard, North Oxnard, we on the beatbox Like Flash doing that, 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 that With the b -b boom bap Have y'all moving your expletive deleted No need for cursing the verse like that jam with heavy D, R.I.P. Spill the wine, dig the girl, the whole nine is so we major Though I'm fairly certain that this only minor course player But I'll gladly take correction, no X, we in the building Cool Ducky, represent, let's go A track that I really dug was called Blame Me So Much by Carlos Rizzi It's this ambient and textural sound that turns into a really nice future garage beat and theme It's a comparatively long track and towards the end it introduces this bendy, destitute counterpoint melody that really ties everything together wonderfully. After listening to this, I was like, oh my god, that's right, this is using a bunch of samples that Loop Pop provided for a contest. I forgot that I was judging anything. I got completely lost in it. Finally, a track that really inspired me and blew my mind is by Jeanette C, and it's called The Queen Is Dead. It's an entire synth symphony. Not like synthesized violins, but in the style of Wendy Carlos or Jean-Jacques Perret, where you're hearing 
fugues and symphonies performed and composed on synthesizers. You really don't hear much music in this style today, and I assume that's because 50 years ago it was a lot more difficult to make electronic music without MIDI or DAWs and having to do things like tape splicing, so the notes themselves held more precedent. In this song, Jeanette's technique was using Linux Sampler with MIDI-ish, which is a command line MIDI sequencer. So sometimes working harder is working smarter. That sounded like a really cool and smart thing to say, so I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Bye. Okay, thanks so much, Ben. Let's take a little break for wine and synths. And move on to our second or third judge, depending on how you count, Mr. Jakob Hack. Well, hello there, Jakob Hack here, and I'm one of the judges in this Loopop Mega Contest. Now, there were so many great tracks, and I have many, many favorites, but in the end, I had to decide on just a few. And so I asked myself, would I have babies with this producer? Yes, I would. Starting with Micah Mendel. It's an overall great production. It's got a very powerful drive and there's a constant pleasant pressure throughout the track, even when the bass drum and the bass isn't present. I love the variation and great use of vocals in there. You know, at 118, when that kick drops, <laughs> yeah, so very yummy. Next, 2.30, Leo. Now this track is mental, and I didn't know that when it began, but at 0.46, I know I'm in for a treat. Now throughout the track, there's a creative use of effects to make these insane bass sounds, and I'm loving it. And at 2.10, it feels like the track is trying to kill me. Well done. Next. Icky. Now, this track is extremely fun and very, very happy. And throughout the track, there's a nice use of a muting effect. One track like this is gonna make a lot of happy babies. However, I did wonder what this track would sound like if you had experimented with it for another minute or two. I think you should. Good work. Next, Luca Francini music. Now the whole track is very nicely composed and Luca Francini music has been able to mix very, very dark textures with some very bright sounds. Now, right
right from the start of the track up to a minute in i'm thinking to myself there should be some nice chord progressions in here and the track delivers at 115. Next up is Luke Petru Pet Petruzzi. Petru I'm sorry, bro. Now, Luke has a kung fu. It is his voice, and it's very strong. Could be not to stay for. Still, I feel this I thoroughly enjoyed listening through this track and it even made me want to listen over and over again. Where's your album, bro? Seriously, I want to buy it. In all honesty, there's so many tracks I could talk about and I could talk at lengths about the tracks I've already mentioned here right now, but I'm not gonna. I've said enough, so have fun and good luck. So that's it for this listening party and for quite a few ways to start and finish songs. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks to Ben and Jakob, as well as the companies that gave out the prizes to this contest. Most importantly, a mega thanks to anyone who actually sat down, started and finished a track. And trust me, there are many, many more gems of music and knowledge in the contest playlist. So go ahead and click it below, hit shuffle, give it time, get inspired. And when you're ready, maybe even finish that track. Thanks for watching. <laughs>